you are in the third year, what you can do is you can take up the three day strategy that I'm telling you so that in a year and within some months, you are able to speak English fluently and it's better if you're going to define what topics you're going to take each day. This will hardly take what? Maybe you are an engineering student, maybe you are a medical student, maybe you are from humanities. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of becoming a fluent speaker, confident English speaker. And this is going to be a special video because I'm going to address a request that I received recently in my live session. So this is a video that is going to benefit everybody, especially the college students or if you are pursuing some kind of studies along with learning English and becoming a fluent speaker. So if you want to manage both, that is going to be the answer. This video is going to be the answer to that particular problem. So basically, I received a request from one of the subscribers that please, ma'am, let me know how to manage my time to learn English with my studies. I'm an engineering student and I have so much to study regarding my own course. So I do understand because you have lots and lots of subject areas to study of your own course, whether you are from science stream, commerce stream, or maybe humanities, each and every stream has lots and lots of stuff to study. And managing your time to learn English with that particular time for your coursework, it can be difficult. I totally understand. And today I'm going to tell you some time management tips, some ways, some strategies through which you will improve your speaking skills, become fluent in English. And this is going to benefit everybody. Even if you're not a student, this video might help you a lot. So I suggest if you're here, watch it till the end. So are you ready for this? I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and communication coach certified by the University of Cambridge, the UK. And before beginning, please subscribe the channel so that you do not miss out on any lesson that I post just for you on the channel. Like the video and please share it with your friends too. Coming back to today's lesson, I'm going to tell you three strategies. Three strategies through which you can manage your studies effectively along with learning English and learning how to become a fluent English speaker. You can manage both improve your speaking skills and manage your studies together, believe me. So without any further discussion, let's move on to all the strategies that I have for you. So strategy number one, strategy number one is limiting your days, limiting your days. Well, limiting your days actually means that you have to limit the number of days you're dedicating to English because what happens is if you're thinking that for all the days, seven days of the week, I'm going to learn English, I'm going to improve my English. What happens is, this is going to create a kind of anxiety in your mind that I am learning English daily. Am I compromising on my time that I should give to my studies? What will happen if your exams are approaching that might probably be approaching now, the semester exams are coming or you have an important exam that's pending, maybe some kind of entrance exam that is going to happen, you want to clear some other competitive exam for whatever purpose you're studying, okay? You are studying in college, you're preparing for something, you're preparing for an entrance. You have to dedicate your time accordingly. Do not compromise on the time that you have for studying. Instead, set some days aside, separate days aside for learning English. For example, what you have to do is, Set either alternative days or two days in a week. When you think that, okay, I'm giving two days in a week to learning English. Wow, I can manage that with my studies. Definitely, I can manage that. This is going to reduce that anxiety and the time, the amount of time you will dedicate in those two days. It will be of quality. You'll be able to give quality time to learning English because now you're not anxious, constantly anxious. Am I compromising my time of studying? What will happen if I'm not able to submit my assignment? What will happen if I'm not able to complete my assignment? Oh my God, should I be uh, studying C++ Java instead of learning English right now? Will this affect my exams? What will happen in my semester exams? All these thoughts will not come in your mind because you know you're not compromising on your study time for your college, right? Or for your exams. So what you have to do is set aside either two days or three days, alternate days in a week. And this will help you manage your time effectively without you 
compromising on your study time or your coursework because I know coursework is important whatever you're studying for your course is important and thinking that you're going to compromise anything from that coursework I know it is difficult it is difficult and you do not have to compromise on your coursework you do not have to do that you do not have to compromise on your study time taking time out from that study time you have dedicated is the key and managing time effectively balancing it out is the proper management because if you are in the first year of college definitely you are going to effectively manage your time through this particular technique by the time you are in the third year that is you're prepared for your professional life right you have three years for that so in those three years you're going to give enough time to learning english and becoming fluent in english so do not worry about that if you are in the third year what you can do is you can take up the three day strategy that i'm telling you so that in a year and within some months you are able to speak English fluently and you become a confident speaker for your professional life that is awaiting you ahead. So do this, take up the strategy. Strategy number two. Strategy number two is five minutes of speaking practice daily, just five minutes. You have to give just five minutes, that's it. If you're giving five minutes to your speaking practice, I don't think so you're going to compromise on your coursework or you're going to compromise on studying for your upcoming exams just five minutes you can even take this up as your stress buster activity while you're studying for your college while you're studying for your assignment you might be doing your assignment you might be studying for your upcoming exams if you just take a break for five minutes and do your english speaking practice it can also work as a big stress buster because you're engaging your mind in a different activity and this helps you relieve some of the stress that you might be facing regarding your coursework because let's accept it while we are studying something maybe you are an engineering student maybe you are a medical student maybe you are from humanities from whichever field you are maybe you are studying to become a chartered accountant in whatever field you are working right now you're studying for Studying something for a long period of time creates stress and just taking a five minutes of speaking practice would help you improve your speaking skills. Plus, this will work as a stress buster activity. So it's a win-win situation. You're killing two birds with a stone, right? So we are able to fulfill two tasks with just one thing, one thing that we are practicing and we are also relieving our stress so do that because just five minutes of speaking practice will help you speak you'll be able to speak fluently after some time so this will keep you on your toes like you will be able to speak every day when you speak every day when you're constantly practicing it's better than not giving any time at all now you must be thinking in the previous technique i was saying do not practice for every day I said, do not learn for every day. I said, just two days in a week. That is your improvement. That's not your speaking practice. Those two days or three days must be dedicated to improving your vocabulary, maybe improving your grammar, doing some reading. Improvement. Those two days, three days are meant for your English improvement. They are not for your speaking practice. They are for the improvement of your speaking. Just speaking practice is not enough. We all know that. You have to do something. You have to make efforts to improve those speaking skills. So two days for learning English, improving English, and five minutes every day, every day, just five minutes every day to practice your speaking skills so that you become fluent as soon as you approach your professional life. Strategy number three. Strategy number three is plan for a week. Plan for a week. That is, you need to plan for a week. Now, you're taking two days in a week or either three days in a week. You need to have a plan for that particular day, what you're going to study. For your speaking practice, you can take up any topic and you can take up any of the speaking techniques that I've told you about and practice that. It's better if you're going to define what topics you're going to take each day. This will hardly take what? 10 to 20 minutes on day one 
on day one, you have to do that. Because if you have a proper plan, you will not be wasting any time of those two days or three days. No time would be wasted. You will be able to completely dedicate your time to learning English and improving English and becoming fluent in English, right? So it's very important for you to make a plan. If you have a plan beforehand, you're very clear. You have a strategy with you so that you can improve in English. Because without any plan, without anything, what you're doing is you're just taking up random tasks. You might be doing random things you might take up a random book read it and then you will say i'm giving only two days that's why i'm not improving i'm giving two days still i'm not improving there will be two reactions half of the people will think that i'm giving just two days you know that's why i'm not improving the one who overthinks things right another set would think i'm giving two days still i'm not improving can you see the difference that means they would be thinking we are giving so much time still we are not improving why because it's not strategic so that's why i say you have to create a study plan even if it's for two days do not think we are just giving two days why would we need a study plan you need a study plan so please make a study plan if you are not able to come up with any study plan for that you have already so many of my videos with challenges study plans study routine all of these kinds of videos they are giving you tasks set tasks set study plans set study routine what you have to do is you have to pick up something that would fit your time for example you're giving 30 minutes pick something that is equivalent to 30 minutes you're giving 40 minutes in those two days pick something that would be completed in 40 minutes according to your time that you have given to yourself take one of the study plans up that i have prepared for you why i'm doing this for you because i know thinking about a study plan can sometimes be difficult and you might get confused what to study, where to go. So do not worry. Take one of the set study plans that I've created for you. That's the solution. So these are the three strategies that you must take. Take them up. And using these three strategies, you are going to manage your time effectively to learn English and become a confident speaker with your studies without compromising on your coursework without compromising on your college studies and college time so i know it can be difficult managing time as a college student definitely you have so many things to do you have to do your coursework you have to make assignments submitting those assignments preparing for your internals preparing for your semesters i understand but still we can manage our time and become a fluent english speaker with all the work that we have so these strategies that i've told you today they can be taken up by a professional and anybody else too so even if you're not a college student still you can take up these strategies if they work for you they are going to work for you definitely so that's it for today that's the lesson now i'm gonna meet you again with a new lesson everybody till then take care keep learning keep becoming a fluent speaker and bye